Hey, welcome back to Nico Knows Tech. I'm, of course, Nico. Today's tech tip is a not, ne not necessarily a secret of the trade, but every technician has bootable uh, live OSs, and that's how we'll fix uh, machines for the most part. Most of us don't use just Windows-based tools because it, it can be limited. Um, so a lot of these are are Linux based and they can be kind of complicated and uh, and I love them but uh, for the everyday user you should still be able to have a bootable tool so one that I found that I like well I've used it for several years is um, Hiren's Ultimate Boot City PE edition which is Windows based so um, I'm gonna teach you all about this it's it's pretty simple but here's how to make it so you're gonna need some things you're gonna need Rufus so if you go to Rufus IE right here you can download the portable I already have it you can download it one but you know they both work great um, and then you'll go to irons.bootcd.org and um, you'll go down here and download this right here I've already downloaded it and then you'll want to open Rufus and this will let us make a bootable USB okay and you'll select the drive here. I don't have one in there yet, but for the image, you'll hit select right here. Ultimate boot CD right there. And then everything here, you'll just leave fine. It'll show some, some details here, but you won't need it. Then hit start. Once it completes, you're done, okay? So then you can boot, um, instead of booting to Windows, you can boot off of this. Um, you can check with your manufacturer's website or you can Google depending on your ma your, uh, your manufacturer on how to go to your UAFI uh, or your BIOS settings so that you can set this to boot to USB. Um, well, when you boot into it, I have it on a VM here. This is what you'll be, um, you'll be faced with. Let me um, put it into full screen. And it looks a lot like Windows, doesn't it? Right? So here we have our basic Windows stuff. We have our networking. Um, this tends to work best off Ethernet, depending on your driver. Um, it might not do Wi-Fi, but if you have a USB Wi-Fi, it'll definitely work because that driver will go through. But either way, under the programs here, it's not your typical Windows. Yeah, you have some of your accessories here, but you can fix your um, your BCD, your um, your your, uh, your your boot drive. If you're not having a boot, um, if you're a successful boot, you got your computer management tools, lots of things here. But most importantly, you have data recovery tools. So let's assume you have ransomware that that you determined um, by talking with my my techs or with me directly um, that we can't um, recover your data because the encryption is AES two fifty six and there's no public keys from uh, to decrypt your ransomware. Well, what I've discovered is um, is that a lot of ransomware will actually be will actually uh, not encrypt your files, but actually make a copy of your files, and then they delete the original. Well, you can recover the originals that they just deleted. Recover is is a good one there. Um, and then there there's several types of data recovery there. Um, there's some hardware diagnostics, hard drive diagnostics um, there, and you can also get this. Imagine your machine won't boot, it's hosed, but all your data is there, and you can't get it because your machine won't boot. Well, instead of having to yank your hard drive and put it into another machine, no, you can just boot this up and then plug in a USB hard drive and then copy all your data from there, and then who cares what happens to that machine? You can reload Windows, but you got all your data off it because you're running your own live OS off USB. Under security, um, over here, we have ESET Online Scanner, one of my favorite scanners. Um, we also have Malwarebytes, so you can actually scan that C drive that, that's, uh, that you're not even booted onto without any kind of malware being able to interfere. You can remove all the, uh, all the viruses. And um, Rufus is here, of course. And um, since this is a a flash drive and you have extra space on it you can download things to it like what if you want to download the BIOS update and update the BIOS you can you can update the BIOS from here um, you can um, download the drivers um, download more tools so that you're ready to attack uh, that Windows problem so this tool it, it can be a lifesaver 
and for um, all intents and purposes it's like running a mini version of Windows but separate from the infected one or the uh, corrupted one and there's more tools here you should just explore and because you can do a lot of repairs to your operating system outside of Windows and that's what pros do uh, we run automation software completely separate from Windows. We don't need to, your sh machine to boot up. We're not going to boot your machine up and then install software onto it and then run scanners. You could do that, and that's what we teach you. But this is this is more advanced lesson, but it doesn't require you to have advanced knowledge. I just need someone to teach you, and I'm happy to do that. So that's how to do it, and that's how to use Hiren's Boot City PE. Um, I hope that this is helpful to, for you. Um, definitely join our Discord. Links in the description. Also, um, if you want to support us on Patreon, uh, that would really help us out. I'm trying to get a virtualization server um, budget build going so that I can teach you guys how to do it. Um, and it's uh, very important because um, we need to do malware research and we need to do it without um, destroying so many of our laptops and our, our, um, our mini PCs. Um, so the quicker we can do that, the quicker we can teach you how to make a virtualization server and the uh, quicker we can do uh, more malware research and find more solutions for the infections that you guys are getting. Because um, some of these are getting pretty bad. Um, and that's in the description. Um, on Discord, we're having a lot of fun. Also, um, I'm uh, remoting into a lot of machines uh, voluntarily. They're wanting me to, and we use using um, TeamViewer usually and fixing machines uh, manually. Um, and um, that's what we're here for. Um, and we do it free of charge. So um, help us out if you would. Also, you know, we got uh, over 40,000 uh, 40, views on our transcript video, but we only have like 680 subscribers. So we have over 40,000 hours of watch, uh, of viewing time, which we only needed 4,000, but we only need 1,000 subscribers. Uh, and uh, we're almost 400 short. So if you could help us out, we'd really appreciate it. And, um, you know, comment in the, in the, in the, in the comments uh, what else you'd like to see and what else you need help with and uh, we'd be glad to help you all right stay safe